There's some cool things in Flash uh, CS4. I'm going to create a button and add some animation to it and um, hopefully we can just go to a web page with it and um, let's get started. I'm going to go to file, import, import to library. I'm going to import my image of the button and that's going to be the Photoshop logo here. Uh, if I go to library you're going to see the logo right there. I'm going to create a new document in the library down here and let's call it Adobe button. Um, I'm going to send it to the Adobe website to make it easier. Um, come down here, you have movie clip, button, or graphic, and I'm going to select button. I'm going to click OK. And there's my Adobe button. Up here we have up, over, down, and hit. The up, I'm going to explain to you in a couple of minutes, and the over and down um, go along with this. So let's do this. On, on the button stage here, we're going to take the Photoshop logo. I'm going to take this keyframe. I'm going to drag it out here and then drag it back here and I'm going to create another keyframe over here F6 and then on the hit I'm going to do a keyframe now the up is what you see now the over is going to be when the um, the button changes its state you don't have to but it's nice for someone to know when they go over a button and hit it that it changes a little bit so they know they're hitting it um, if you want to do that and the hit is the area that you can hit the button so you're not going to see that. I'm going to create a box here and that's going to allow people to hit this. Now once I'm in the over state, I'm going to take this um, icon we have over here and what I want to do is I want to convert it to a symbol. I'm going to right click it, convert to symbol, and I'm going to make it into a graphic. And we can leave the name to symbol 1. Um, that's okay. Now what I want to do is go to properties. I'm going to change the color settings. Let's go to advanced. I'm going to change the R in RGB. And now you can see it. Up is blue. Over and down is the purple. And then the hit area, which is not going to affect the color or anything like that. So now let's go back to the scene. We go to our library. And this is our button. I'm taking the Adobe button and I'm bringing it onto the stage. Now what I want to do is make this button go to the Adobe website. So I'm going to go click this. I'm going to go to Window behaviors. I'm going to add a new behavior. Now it's already telling me that only uh, ActionScript 2.0 supports behavior. So let's go to Publish Settings, Flash, ActionScript 3.0. No, nope, we want 2.0. Then click OK. We're going to do the plus sign again. Web. Go to web page, and we're going to have we're going to leave it. Uh, Adobe.com, and we can do an underscore blank if we want for a new window. Um, and click OK. Control enter. I'm going to test this out. The button works. I just clicked it and we should go to the Adobe website. Now here we are. We're at the Adobe website. But now let's add some animation to this button. I'm going to drag out this keyframe to 60. Drag it back to 1. Right click on it. I'm going to create classic tween. Over here on 60 I'm going to press F6. On the first frame, I'm going to bring it over here and watch what happens. It moves right to the center, or almost the center. So now let's take this. We're going to change it so it can fade. We can do that over here in the alpha. And it's going to disappear. And just like that, you have some animation. Now let's say I want to test that out. But it's probably going to repeat itself, which it does. Now what I want to do is make it stop so it could stop and then someone can click it. So on the five frames before the end I'm going to press F6, click on it again, make sure the alpha is all the way up so people can actually see the button when it stops. Over here I'm going to create a new layer on 60, F6, and that's going to be where my action script is. I'm going to show you that right now. Window, Actions, under timeline control, under the global functions, you'll have a stop here. I'm going to do stop. So that's going to, and you're going to see right over here in this keyframe, there's that little A, that's for action script. And if I can move this out of the way for you guys to see, you see here, stop. Now watch what happens. Control enter to test it. And the button stops. I'm going to click it. And there we go, it goes to the Adobe website. Perfect. And that was a couple of things in um, Flash CS4.